Lesson 7. Multiplying with Negative Numbers Multiplying with negative numbers is only slightly more difficult than multiplication with positive numbers. When you multiply a negative number by a positive number, the result is always negative. For example, suppose you want to multiply negative 3 times 5. Here you're multiplying a negative number by a positive number, so the answer is negative. To find the answer, multiply 3 times 5 equals 15. So negative 3 times 5 equals negative 15. The same idea is true when you reverse the order of the positive and negative numbers. For example, suppose you want to multiply 6 times negative 2. Here, we include a set of parentheses around negative 2 to separate the multiplication sign from the minus sign. Because you're multiplying a positive number by a negative number, the answer is negative. And again, to find the value of the answer, multiply 6 times 2 equals 12. So 6 times negative 2 equals negative 12. In contrast, when you multiply a negative number times a negative number, the result is always a positive number. You can think of this as the two negative numbers canceling each other out to produce a positive value. For example, suppose you want to multiply negative 5 times negative 4. As in the previous example, when multiplying by a negative number, it's good form to place this number in parentheses to separate the times sign from the minus sign. Because both numbers are negative, the result will be a positive number. To find this number, multiply 5 times 4 equals 20. So negative 5 times negative 4 also equals 20.